Hey beauties, welcome back to part two of my two-part Claire Obscure makeup tutorial using the new Fall Winter Collection from Chanel. In part one, I created an easy, everyday look, and in part two, I'll be showing you a deep, smoky eye. Both videos are now live on my channel, so stay tuned after part two for part one. Let's get started. To begin, I'm priming my eyelids with the new Chanel eyeshadow base and blending it out with my Sigma Tapered Kabuki brush. On a fluffy brush, I'm picking up the medium intensity brown eyeshadow from the Claire Obscure eyeshadow palette and I'm buffing this out in the crease. This is the exact same step I started with in part one, except this time I'm being a little more heavy handed. I'm going to build this up in the crease and then blend on top of the crease when there's a little less product left on my brush. I'm also exaggerating the outer V area a little bit to create a smoky cat eye effect. On the lid, I'm going to be using a combination of Stilo Ombre A Contour Sticks, Contour Claire, and Contour Sombre. I'm going to begin with Contour Claire, smoothing the cream eyeshadow all over the lid. These are actually eyeliners, coals, eyeshadows all in one, so it's a very versatile product. You can also use a brush if it's easier for you, but I'm just applying this directly to the lid and then blending it out with my fingers. Once I've laid down the brown stilo, I'm going in with the black. This was a little trickier than I expected. Once you apply the cream to the lid, it's easy to blend. It was the actual application that was giving me a little bit of trouble. I'm also going to use my finger to blend this out as well. I didn't want to use one or the other, but a combination of the two. So you have to have some patience, but it is worth it. On a tapered eyeshadow brush from Sigma, I'm picking up the darkest eyeshadow in the palette to blend out the crease. It's very dark, but it creates a very nice transition from the brown above the crease to the black on the lid. For this look, I did one eye at a time. So now I'm just gonna go over to the other side to mimic what I've already done. Beginning with the Contour Claire Stilo Cream Shadow as a base, blending it out with my fingers, then layering the black Stilo Sombre on top, building it up as much as possible on the lower lid and then blending that out with my fingers. And of course, finally, blending out the crease with a tapered eyeshadow brush from Sigma and the darkest eyeshadow from the palette. It's actually a very simple look to achieve. You just wanna be sure to blend between steps. So of course, before moving on, I'm gonna go back with my original fluffy brush and smooth over the crease inside and outside on both eyes one last time. For foundation, I'm using my Chanel Sublimage Le Tint. I have shade 50, so I can only wear it when I'm sunless tanned, but I absolutely love the coverage and the finish of this foundation, so it's really a special treat when I use this product. I couldn't find the brush that actually comes with the foundation, sadly, so I'm just using my standard flat top kabuki brush to buff this all over the face. It's so nice because it gives great coverage. It's not too heavy or too thick, but it also isn't too matte or too luminous. It has a beautiful, soft, natural finish, and it has skincare benefits. This is part of the Sublimage skincare line for Chanel, so it helps with fine lines, wrinkles, even out your skin tone. My skin actually feels better when I'm wearing this foundation. For concealer, I'm using the YSL All Hours Shade 3. The only time I can wear this shade is when I'm pretty tan. As much as I like the formula, the shade range is incredibly limited, even after they recently expanded the range. And of course, I'm blending this out with my tapered kabuki brush from Sigma. I'm going to set my face with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. This was sent to me complimentary to review from Laura Mercier, and it's always been one of my go-to face products. The size is incredibly generous for the price point, and I never have to touch up my face throughout the day. It really helps with the longevity of my makeup. Since I have a more dramatic eye, I like my face to be more precise, so I'm using my Kevin O'Quan Contour Powder in the shade Light. This was also sent to be complimentary from Kevin O'Quan, and I usually save this for a fancier makeup application. The shade is perfect for contour because the cool tone helps mimic a natural shadow to give the appearance of a hollowed out, carved cheekbone. I also love how small and compact the powder is. It makes it very convenient to use and the packaging is very luxurious. I highly recommend it. To warm up the rest of my face, I'm going in now with my NARS Soft Matte Laguna Bronzer on a big powder brush to blend out the contour and add a little sun-kissed glow to the outside of my face. 
For cheeks, I'm using the 440 Quintessence Blush from the new Chanel collection. It's the perfect, soft, universal pink to give a nice flush, and you can really use this shade with any eye look. I went ahead and filled in my brows off camera, and now with the precision brush, I'm picking up that medium brown intensity eyeshadow and buffing out my lower lash line, inside and outside, on both eyes. I want to create a really smoky eye, so I'm going to use the Contour Somber Stilo to line my inner waterline. This just gives the look a little stronger impact. I lined my top lash line with Black Liquid Liner from Lancome, and next I'm coating my lashes with the Shock Mascara from YSL. This was sent to me complimentary to review from YSL. I love the volume and the drama it gives my lashes, especially for a look like this. It really makes a beautiful difference. For lips, I'm going to show two different options. The first is a light nude, number 257 Discretion. It's the perfect soft glam shade for a smoky eye. It's the same lipstick I used in part one. It's also perfect for just an everyday natural look. To vamp up the tutorial for fall, my second lip option is much deeper. But first, I'm going to line my lips with the Givenchy Universal Noir Lip Liner. This was sent to me complimentary from Givenchy to review, and it's perfect for fall lipstick options. I'm simply lining the top and bottom of my lips and filling them in on the corners to give a little dimension and a slight ombre effect. This liner can be used with so many lipsticks, it's really nice. To fill them in, I'm going in with the Crayon de Couleur Matte 267 Impulsion, a deep red shade. In one of the Chanel campaigns, the model is wearing a smoky eye with a red lip, and that's what inspired this second option. This lipstick would be beautiful during the holidays, for parties, special events, it definitely has a wow factor. Now since I like a gloss, I'm going to add a few dabs of the Kevin O'Quan Molten Gems Lip Gloss to the center of my pout. This gloss was sent to me complimentary from Kevin O'Quan to review, and it's just a fun way to spice up a lipstick, so I wanted to show it off with this look. It adds a slight iridescent gloss, so it pairs nicely with a darker color. And this is the complete look with a matte face, since the collection is all about the matte look. Since I added lip gloss, I'm going to go ahead and add some highlighter as well, just to show you the difference in case you prefer one over the other. And that completes the look. So thank you so much for watching part two of my Claire Obscure makeup tutorial. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Of course, all of the products are linked down below for your convenience. And if you skipped part one, stay tuned. It will pop up next. And be sure to subscribe for more videos.